Welcome to day three at PAX, and we're at Blowfish Studios with Ellen, senior producer and game designer. Um, tell me a bit about what's going on with Blowfish at PAX this weekend. Absolutely. So we've this year we've got all publishing games. So uh, over the last couple of years, Blowfish has stepped into a publishing and co-development role as well as our own internal games. So uh, we've got five, five, four games up today. We've got Projection First Light, which is available now on the Apple Arcade. Um, that one is a game that we picked up a few years ago. Uh, it's a, a collaboration between three studios. Ours is one of them. And in addition to helping with the publishing, we also did additional set dressing and some programming support and porting support for that one. We also have um, uh, the, the three studios, I should probably say them, Shadow Play and Sweaty Chair, as well as Blowfish. <laughs> yeah, Sweaty Chair. So, and they're all, um, we're all Sydney based as well. Okay. Uh, aside from that, we've got Obey Me by Era 404 game. Which I played the other day, it's really fun. It's a fun one, uh, and that's an Argentinian game, um, an Argentinian studio I should say. Um, and that one we're doing again, uh, publishing and porting, support for them. Um, then we have Kung Fu Kickball in the back, that's a one man studio called Whale Food Games, they're from New York, and that's a really fun, uh, like, I think of it as Smash Brothers, but with kind of soccer and Kung Fu. It's, it's super fun. And um, then we've got Infliction, which I'm also representing today. Uh, and that is a, a Sydney-based dev as well, one-man team, who made a psychological horror narrative game experience. And he got that just to PC, and so we've stepped in and supported him to be able to bring it across consoles. Um, he's also now working with us as well, yeah. so, yeah. Very cool. I've actually, yeah, I played Obey Me the other day. I really wanted to play Element Space, but apparently it's not here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but I have been playing uh, Projection First Light as well, so loads of fun games. I guess, uh, like, Blowfish, so obviously as a publisher, but also as a development team, um, how are you guys, like, supporting, obviously, worldwide studios, not just Australian devs, but obviously it's, like, um, you know, you guys are helping out these other teams. So tell me about that. Yeah, um, as I said, we've only started doing it in the last few years, but uh, one of the things that we developed for ourselves is working relationships with the different platform holders, as well as being comfortable with the hardware that all the games are going to. So that was something that we realized that we had that a lot of smaller studios don't have access to. So because we've already got that knowledge and experience, that's something that we wanted to make sure that we could share with and support other indies with as well as you know, taking them to shows and really get their names out there. So like, there's a lot of really cool games that just don't get the exposure that they really should have or could have. Very cool. One last thing, I think you guys developed uh, Storm Boy. Yes, yeah, I was the game director on that, so you're talking to the right person for that one. Well, interestingly, I actually grew up in that town where that's set, so like, Storm Boy was something, yeah, in Goolwa. Storm Boy was something that we uh, like watched as children and stuff. So when I saw that, it was a game. It was pretty amazing. So, how, how did you like it? No, I want. I actually personally haven't played it. I saw it in the app store, okay. but how, how does the art look? Does it does it feel like home? Yeah, and it totally does. Like I, it blew me away that that's actually like a game as well. So well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I think we might leave it at that. Thank you so much, Ellen, for joining us. And um, I'm sure we'll keep an eye out for your stuff in the future. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Thanks for checking out this series of developer interviews from PAX Australia 2019. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our weekly podcast available on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Podbean. Just search for Spawn Respawn. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spawn Respawn PC. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you again soon.